Hello and welcome to this quick tutorial on how to make the first mod in the Project Third Eye Modding SDK. In the first video we learned how to install the Project Third Eye Modding SDK and how to set up the project with the correct Unity version and the URP installed. Okay, in this video we are going to create a simple mod and to do this we are going to create an empty object and call it ball. Now we are going to right click the ball and select 3D object and create a sphere. Now this sphere should be parented to the main object, which is called ball. And uh, yeah, I'm going to call this object model, but it doesn't really matter. Okay, now I'm going to scale this model down by 0 0.25. And I'm going to copy that to all three axes. So we basically end up with a smaller ball. The Unity default sphere is one meter in diameter. At least I believe that. And if you set it to 0 0.25, it should have a radius of half of that or a diameter of 0 0.25. So it's around uh, the size of a ball, I guess. Okay, now I'm going to select the ball and first of all, reset its position to 0, 0, 0. Try to get it back into the view. Now I'm going to add a material to make it look less boring. To do that, I'm going into the Project Third Eye Modding SDK folder, Shared Assets, Prototype Material, Materials, and here we have four materials already set up. I'm going to choose the red one. Okay, now we have an, a material applied. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a folder and right here and this folder is going to be called ball and in this ball folder i'm going to create a physics material to make the ball more bouncy to do this we have to right click in an empty space go to create and select physics material and i'm going to simply call this bouncy okay um, we're going to keep the friction as it is and set the bounciness to 0 0.5, uh, 0 0.95. And we are going to apply this physics material to the sphere collider of the model we created inside of the ball. Okay, that's it basically. Now we just need to drag the ball into the ball folder. And we are basically good to go, except for two things. We need to add an item information to the prefab that we have just created in this folder. Item information. And here we can select the name. We're going to call this bouncy ball. It is not holsterable. Slot doesn't matter because it's not holsterable anyway. You cannot put it in the inventory. That's basically a few settings you can choose here. And that's where the game knows what this object is called. So we definitely always need the item information on each prefab. Then next thing we're going to do is we're going to add a U interactable component that makes everything grabbable. And I think I'm going to want horse grab. That's the most important uh, setting most of the time. The rest is basically fine as it is. So this makes the object interactable. And for the rigid body that was automatically added with the U interactable component, I'm going to set the mass to two kilos. Okay, that's it. There's just one more thing. We need to rename this prefab to main. That's how the game knows what object needs to be loaded and spawned in the game. So the object of the prefab is called main. And from the item information, it's called bouncy ball. That's how the game knows how it, call, how it is called. Now I'm just going to check one more time if the position is zero, the rotation is zero, and the scale of the main object should always be one, 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 and also the rotation position. That makes it easier for spawning and other things. Okay, that's basically it. Now we have a folder with a physics material and a prefab, and let's build this mod by going into the build settings 
And here we're going to create a new configuration. Mod name is bouncy ball. Author is you. And for the directory, we're choosing the ball folder that we just created. And for the mod export directory, I'm going to use the persistent data path. There it is. It's uworks, third eye, mods, and spawnables. That's how you basically directly load it into the game folder. Right. And then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to set it to build mod. Save the scene. And now it's going to build. One last thing I need to point out is that all your assets should be in this folder that you're using, except for the shared assets that are into the in the project SDK folder. For example, for this material, that's fine. But other than that, it should be included in the ball folder or the mod build directory. Okay. Okay, build success. Now it is directly loaded into the modding folder. And now I'm going to switch the view so you can see what I'm seeing in game. And let's check if our mod is actually in the game. Okay, this is my testing environment. I go into spawnables, buildings, safe builds, mods, and here is the bouncy ball. I select it and spawn it with the spawn gun. And there it is, a bouncy ball. It could be even bouncier in my opinion. But no problem, we can simply adjust the bounciness of the ball, set it to 99, and then we set it to maximum, so it always chooses the maximum bounciness. And then we can simply build this mod again, one more time. It's going to be loaded into the project folder. Now I'm going to load in this mod one more time. And here it is, a lot more bouncy. Perfect. And that's how you built your first mod and now follow the development of Project Third Up.